This is the homemade stripper pole, completely assembled and erected. The stripper pole consists of a two inch conduit pipe that I had about four inches of thread put on at Lowe's. has a coupling and a lock washer, or actually a uh, lock nut above it. The uh, shroud is made up of a four inch to a two inch reducer. This is the top of the pipe, standard threads, no alterations. This is a two inch flange plate bolted to the ceiling into a stud. I had the pipe cut to the exact length from the edge of the flange plate to the bottom of the floor. It barely clears the floor. This is the clearance between the floor and the edge of the coupling when the pipe is screwed all the way into the flange plate. Unscrewing the coupling drives it into the ground which actually fastens it to the uh, floor. I tighten the coupling with a strap wrench. Once it's firmly in place I tighten the uh, lock nut above it so that the pole doesn't unscrew. This is a closer look at the uh, lock nut in position. After the pipe is fastened to the floor, simply slide the bell housing down to cover up the hardware. I like to cover uh, mistakes that I made and some improvements that need to be done to the uh, pole itself. One of the uh, mistakes I made is too much thread. The thread pokes up probably about another inch above the uh, PVC housing and I need to find a way of positively locking the uh, coupling to the floor. I don't have a real solid idea exactly how I would do that. If I had a wooden floor I would probably suggest, if it wasn't a big eyesore, to use a hole saw to drill in maybe an eighth of an inch so that the pole could lock into the floor as it travels down. That's questionable, but my idea behind the pole is to have it completely removable. 